gaming tier templates. What does that even mean? There, well, there's templates floating around everyone's doing nowadays, where you fill in your favorite games, your favorite soundtracks, your personal experiences, your favorite protagonist. What were you scared of as a little kid? Just to get to know you or whatever else. I don't know what, what people want to know about you. I don't know. So I have found one full of all kinds of questions. We're going to answer them today. Let's hop right into it. Oh, and before we start filling up the templates, I want to let you know now that some of these templates, I put like two to three games in. I'm, I can't just decide off of one. Also, this is my template list, so your opinions don't matter. Fuck you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Twist. Games I was scared of as a kid, Luigi's Mansion. This game used to scare the shit out of me as a little kid. This game was horrifying from the start. I mean, number one, the intro cutscene is scary as shit. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at that scary ass intro cutscene. That's fucking horrifying. So when you go to quit the game, it goes, it goes to like whatever, like you want to quit it like that. But then it changes to we will be waiting for you or something along those lines. That's horrifying. As a kid, just sitting there looking at that slant of text, and then it switches to we will be waiting for you, whatever like that. It's crazy. Pause screen turning into different text to scare you. To I mean, even the ghosts themselves were creepy as hell. From the laugh to the atmosphere to when you died to the death screen with Luigi's face fucking melting off. I mean, that shit was scary as hell. <laughs> Tons of hours played, it's gotta be Madden 25, the hurdles, the amount of crazy shit you go, the physics, the boom, I love this game, I still love this game to this day, as my Madden, I played a ton of it, it's amazing. <laughs> Twist. Now everyone knows Mario 64, but there's a DS version, and I played the shit out of the Mario 64 DS version. I have like three copies of this game, I just don't know why. I don't know where the other two or three are, I might even have four. I don't remember me buying this game that many times. This game was it, literally. If you never played this game, check it out. Twist. Games that I come back to consistently after long breaks, For Honor and Dead by Daylight. Uh, these games have had their ups and downs, but you really have to be in the mood to play these games. But For Honor definitely was a big runner-up, so a Dead by Daylight. I, I, I love these games where they have, have very, very toxic communities. I know they're very polished games, but they're really, really cool, and I love them, and so does a lot of other people. And of course, everyone knows, and literally everyone has, uh, Minecraft. Everyone's came back to Minecraft at least once or twice. If you haven't come back to Minecraft, what are you doing in your life? Twist. My stressful game has to be Sly Cooper. This game used to stress the shit out of me as a kid. The atmosphere of this game, like the cool jazz, the slow darkness and murkiness of everything was scary. Also the alert. Oh my god, it was stressful as shit. Getting past these people, sneaking, getting a coin, having the music a dum 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 or whatever else like that. Plus when they caught you, it was all crazy. <laughs> I couldn't really figure out what games to put in this one, but my relaxing game has to be Rock Band or maybe Lego Star Wars. Rock Band, I grew up with my with my other side of my family playing this. I felt so cool having as a middle schooler playing Rock Band with all these seniors in high school because my cousin was older than me at the time and my auntie. I don't know. It, it, it felt like a good time all around. I have so many memories of years of years of playing late night Rock Band uh, and also Lego Star Wars. Uh, uh, Lego Star Wars can be another relaxing game. I have a lot of memories playing that over at here, my mother to over there, my auntie to my sister, my older sister to my older cousin to everyone. Uh, Lego Star Wars is a pickup game. Everyone loves Lego Star. Star Wars, even Lego Harry Potter games, mostly Lego Star Wars. Twist. Out of the game, gotta be Black Ops. Oh my god, I cannot tell you. Still one of the greatest Black Ops of all time. The atmosphere, the nitty gritty, from the maps to the zombies. It still is one of my is my favorite Call of Duty of all time. It's still one of my favorite games of all time. The story mode. The, the Kino de Toten playing over friends. If I had a favorite game of all time, it might be it, but we'll get to that. Twist. A lot of people don't know about this game, but in Dante's Inferno, a God of War ripoff type game, you're, you're fighting through hell. One of the first enemy bosses you encounter is, and I shit you not, and I am literally not even joking. I am being dead, uh, this is, this is literally real. You fight the Grim Reaper. You fight the actual 
Grim Reaper, right? And then after you kill him, you get his Reaper sword, and that's the weapon you use the rest of the entire game. Go play this game. If you're, if you're doing anything, go play this game. It's only on E Access. Now, go now. Now. <laughs> Favorite ending. I really, this one took me literally an hour to figure out. I really do not have a quote unquote favorite ending. But if I had to choose one, I would go with Battlefield 1. Twist. Katana Zero had literally the best art style of all time. This game is amazing. Look, look, look at how beautiful this game is. I mean, oh my god, it's amazing. The movement's amazing. The boss fights are all unique. It's a good ass story. It's action packed. It's sad. It looks great. Check it out. Um, go check it out. Twist. Any of those stupid ass games you have to take turns on. Whoa! 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 Hey! 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 I don't care. Who cares? Who, who wants to take turns fighting? I want to find out what game developer made this time, uh, you know, turn-taking combat style and kill him. And then, if you, even if you block in the Elder Scroll games, they still damage you for forty time for forty damage. What is the point of blocking? If you hold block and they hit you for 80 damage anyway, why am I gonna block? If I hit you with my sword, I shouldn't be doing 2 damage because you're level 58 and I'm level 8. Fuck that! How is it higher level than I am? <laughs> Fuck. I should be able to lose because the enemies have better AI, more different attacks, maybe harder attacks, right? Not because they have no armor on, right? The enemy's butt ass naked, and then doing the same attack level three enemies are doing, but I can't kill them because they're level 67. Twist. I love but everyone hates Sea of Thieves. I don't know why. I, I, I thought this was a good game. It has a nice community, and it's starting to get good, you know, vibes and good, you know, things said about nowadays. Sea of Thieves, still to this day, is an amazing game in my opinion, and I love it. Twist. Have not played, but I want to. Spider-Man, PS4, PS5. I might get a PS5 just to, you know, try these games out. I heard the Spider-Man 1, though, uh, for, you know, the original one, is on PC now. So I might check those out. But these are games I never tried, but I just want to. But every other game that's about it, I've played about any game I want to try. Twist. Best story, easily Mortal Kombat Deception. You play as a younger kid in the Mortal Kombat world. Basically an open world in Mortal Kombat. So you start off as a kid in this Mortal Kombat world, training to be a warrior, this orb, whatever like that tells you it needs to be free and send you on these missions so you can free whatever's in this orb or whatever like that. You talk to it, it seems like a nice damn thing, and, and, and you go out to find the Kamehamehas or whatever like that to, to free it. So you do all this cool shit in the game, you're all these storylines, all these side missions, you run into Mortal Kombat characters. I mean, it's an open world, open world Mortal Kombat game. I mean, this is fucking awesome. But it turns out to be the main villain. The main villain was trapped behind this damn orb or whatever like that else or whatever you want to call this shit. It turns out the entire damn story is about you, a stupid ass kid, eventually going old enough uh, and going on these side missions, and you're the reason why what's going on is happening in the original arcane and regular Mortal Kombat universe. I can't really explain it too well, but this was an awesome ass storyline. Anyway, it blew my mind as a kid. On to the next. <laughs> Twist. My favorite villain, uh, he's a villain so I can put him on the list, Baraka. Oh my god, I freaking loved Baraka. In Mortal Kombat, I still do. He's my favorite character. His cool little blades flying out. I mean, look how badass he is. I always would constantly abuse his little, um, you know, down. I, I still know the combo moves. It's down, up, and X, or down, up, and A on 360 or an Xbox. I mean, I love Baraka. He's still my favorite ever. I know he's a bad guy, but I don't know. I always thought he was disrespected. I always thought he should be more powerful than he always was. I loved him. I still do. Twist. My favorite protagonist has to be the Witcher. I love Geralt. I love everything about him. He's awesome, badass. He's kind. His thoughts. A lot of people didn't. He's such a complex character. And I just started playing the Witcher maybe a year ago, and I love him already. He's also he's just one of my top ranked people. He is so relatable and chill. And what's not liked about about Geralt? What's not liked? What's not? What, how can you not like Geralt? Twist. Best soundtrack of all time has to go. 
NFL Street 2, oh my god, NFL Street 2 is the best soundtrack from the rock songs. To the old 90s and early 2000s rap. Some days I make thousands, some days I make millions. Spend my day chilling, cool some sway chilling. Everybody out there wanna know what me. Every sound in this game was amazing. I love the soundtrack. I love everything about this game. This game is why I got into growing up as a kid playing this on the GameCube. Uh, this is why I got into you know rock, alternative rock, alternative punk. Wow, like old school rap. It, it, this game literally made my song genre. But we do have a tie between Mario Kart Double Dash. I mean, who, who doesn't love this game? From the, when you win, you get the little dun 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 Get back, nigga! Get back! Will you come in fourth place or lower? It hits that like. You're weird! How inspirational and this is it and here's the big race type music your heart racing I mean this is it and it was it twist I have so many favorite game series but if I have to choose one I grew up and still adore all the game series it has to be Smackdown vs. Raw 2000. The 2000 Smackdown vs. Raw games were awesome. All the way from, I believe it was 06 when it started, all the way to 2011 or 11. I think 11 was when it stopped. And of course, the Mortal Kombat games. Uh, you know, Deception, Armageddon, more. I played the shit out of Mortal Kombat 9 on the D60. But still, I mean, these are all good games. <laughs> My favorite game of all time has to be undoubtedly nothing. Huh? I knew it was fake. I knew it. I don't have a favorite game of all time. I don't want to disappoint you guys, but there's so many games I played growing up. There's so many games to this day. D depending on the type of year, my mood. How nostalgic I'm feeling, what I'm feeling I want to play as, what I'm into at the moment. I, I play so many different types of games, I don't even, I don't have a favorite game of all time. Let me know what your favorite games are, and you know, maybe even fill out your own little template in the bottom comments. Let me know what you guys think of mine. Anyway guys, until next time, peace.